get my new tires. Yay! Just leaving a campground. I stayed at a state park near um, Salt Lake for a couple nights. And now I'm just going to go into town and get my new tires put on. And then I am a freeze bird again. Huh, Sadie girl? What do you think? See you there. Ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Got your mind on. I knew I'd be driving through Salt Lake City, so I researched tire shops in the area and I did super duty extra research on this one. I checked every single site for reviews and I saw that they've won on they've actually won service awards. So I'm going to Tire World. Here's what I did differently this time. I was proactive. I did some research on the best all-terrain tires for an RV. So I knew before I even called the shop what I wanted. I decided on BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain tires. So I'd done a lot of research. I knew what I was getting and I called and I said, this is what I would like to have installed. And I think that's a really good practice. Do your research and know what you want before you go to the repair shop. But when I called Keith to make the appointment, I said, this is what I want. And he was like, are you sure? Use the left two lanes to turn. He listened to me and what my driving conditions were and where I spend most of my time. And he said, I understand that you want all terrain. That totally makes sense. He said, but I might recommend something else for the front. The KO2s can be very loud and they can cup very easily. And I had seen that in my research, so I knew he wasn't just blowing smoke. And he said that maybe I should get some highway tires on the front. And he recommended Michelin's. Come here. Oh yeah. So after 20 <laughs> minutes of talking to him about all the scenarios and what would be best, I went with his recommendation. They got the spare out. I watched him. It took him forever. <laughs> so he said the old, um, the, the spare that was under there was 10 years old. So we're going to take one of the new tires and replace it. He had to break the bolt to get it off. So they're replacing it for me. So now I can access my spare. Woohoo! Well, and he quoted me, yeah, $1,700 for alignment for these really, really good tires, which is $100 less than that shop in Vegas. So I'm looking forward to getting this done. So we've been at the the tire shop for four out five hours four ten what time is it two yeah almost five hours and uh craving coffee there's not really much around here so i googled coffee place and i said utah roasters and i'm like oh that sounds great so i walked a half mile and it's a roasting it's a roaster company it's not a coffee shop but i peeked my head in the door i'm like oh i thought this was a coffee shop and she was like, no, but you can have a cup of coffee. So I got a free cup of coffee. <laughs> two shots of, two shots, well, big shots of espresso. They even had a little ice. So I got to make myself a nice coffee. Yeah, Utah is so friendly. Hang on, Sadie girl. Wait, wait. So yeah, Utah is so friendly. I got free coffee. Woohoo, we're all set. Look at that! <gasps> fancy, fancy! Fancy, fancy! Fancy, fancy! Yeah, first thing I noticed when I took it over there is, do we have hubcaps on all four? She says, no, two of them are missing. Yeah! <laughs> It's been a long day. I've been here five hours, but I've got an alignment. They had to put a new shimmy something or other on the front end wheel. And I got, but I got the KO2s in the back. I got the Michelin ribbed XPS in the front because he said the KO2s will cup too easily in the front. So he suggested highway tires to reduce noise and to reduce the cupping in the front. And he said, my traction will be fine. I'll still get their, uh, their, a, um, the skeleton is steel on these front tires. Cause that's what I said. I want something that's going to be super strong in 
on rocky surfaces and on the back roads and so that's what they gave me and they also are the first shop of all the shops I've been to who took the time to unstick my spare my they had to break the bolt to get my spare out so I don't know if you remember I said that uh I couldn't change my tire because I couldn't get to the spare they actually had to break the bolt and they took the time to do that they put one of the new highway tires that were on the front on the spare because the spare was 10 years old so uh and it just cost me a hundred dollars more these tires cost double or two two and a half times what the tires cost that the vegas shop put on and it only cost me a hundred dollars more plus alignment which the vegas shop didn't do and the uh the joint repair so yeah so i'm ready to roll a couple things I want to clarify. I want to reiterate for one thing that the shop in Vegas charged me $1,800 for tires, no alignment, tires balancing and all the other stuff that when I challenged them, they were like valve stems and this and that. They charged me $1,800. When I looked at the tires after I got my RV back, they they were $100 tires. So that's a $200 markup labor charge per tire now this shop tire world highly recommend in salt lake city i bought four tires in the back that cost 220 dollars each retail that's what i expected in my own research the michelins in the front were 289 dollar tires so i got four 220 dollar tires and two 289 dollar tires for less than what the dry, the shop in Vegas charged me, plus alignment. <laughs> and the shop in Vegas didn't even charge it. Plus, they did my spare for me. They did all that extra time to, to release that spare for me and switch out the spare. Plus, they helped me make sure the valve stems were correct. They went around and they... they the shop in uh, Utah last year, or Wyoming, that put the valve extensions on for me, they did it wrong. They crimped them, which you should never crimp them because then they start leaking. So they went around and they redid all my valve stems for me for less than what the shop in Vegas charged me. So I can't reiterate that enough or I can't stress that enough. The other thing that I want to that I want to say that I learned from this and I want to thank Richard uh, for spending the time with me that you did in helping me choose these tires I did some research and I was like these are the ones I want and then I reached out to uh, someone who's a former mechanic a longtime viewer who's who's been kind of emailing me and helping me through some of this stuff and I emailed Richard and said, hey, this is what I'm thinking. I want the KO2s. What do you think? And uh, and you came back with some recommendations and some stuff to think about. And then when the shop recommended the the highway tires on the front, I ran those by uh, Richard, my mechanic friend again, and, and uh, also offered some recommendations on that. And so that's another thing that I would teach all women, men too, is to be proactive. Next time you need to take your shop, your, your RV into a shop, do your own research. Just, just, Go in and if you can, know what parts you want and ask for parts by name and by part number. And if you get a great shop like I did, like Keith at, at Auto uh, Tire World in Salt Lake City, who's honest and no, he really knew his stuff. Every guy I talked to in that shop really knew his stuff. The guy who was working on the valve stems had been doing RVs and tires, he said, for 24 years. He really knew his stuff. He knew how to handle dualies, which a lot of people don't really seem to understand, you know, dualies. So if you are lucky enough to get a shop that's very experienced and very knowledgeable, uh, the Keith, when I talked to him on the phone, I mean, he knew about Fords. He knew about Ford chassis. When I told him I wanted the KO2s on the front, he was like, yeah, maybe not so much for a Ford. This is the problems that Fords have. Fords often have problems with the alignment and getting out of alignment and they pull and they do this and they do that. So that's what I recommend. You know, if you're going to call around a shop, you know, call around until you find somebody who's number one, willing to take the time with you to listen and give you recommendations and number two is knowledgeable about your vehicle and they can prove that knowledge by just listening to them yeah the fords do this and fords do that so that's my recommendation that's uh my little spiel i guess after getting all that done and now that i'm in editing wishing you know thinking of things that i could have said in the moment so all right let's move on 
right on the 2700 south. Well, unfortunately, I wasn't able to give the tires away to a viewer, so we just had to recycle them. So that's a little bit of a bummer. I really wanted to give them to somebody who could use them, but nobody was close enough to be able to take them. All right, so now I have a surprise for you. Stick with me. Well, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I can't get into the parking lot of Whole Foods. <laughs> <sighs> Good morning. <laughs> this is Starry Hollow Ranch. Look how beautiful it is. So I booked this hip camp camp on a an alpaca actually a horse and everything rescue sanctuary and it's on hip camp and it's near where am i salt lake city and uh i wanted a place to stay that's easy you know i don't want to have to go looking for boondocking after a long day so this is one of the things i've been doing either staying at a hip camp or a state park or um i know i'm really out of breath or um we just got a tour we just had a tour or what was the other thing or a hotel, but this is cheaper than a hotel. So it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. They have 20 acres here. They've been here for four years. They uh, rescue alpacas. They just had a new baby alpaca and horses. They have a rescue horse that was abused. And and goats and chickens and they're trying to build an off-grid homestead here or they are they're trying to be as off-grid as they can be so beautiful place to stay this is a just one example and uh jenny the the owner super sweet very nice very helpful and uh, spent a lot of time with me and another camper so they allow rvs and tents and uh, just spent about an hour walking around talking about the farm Oh, it's beautiful. I'm going to hit the road. And, uh, I'll see you later. In the meantime, be happy. Be free. <laughs>